Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel. I want to welcome everybody that has come back for part 2 of the U-Trips ebook. Yes guys, you heard that correctly. This is the second part of all the videos that I'm going to be doing on the U-Trips formation in the New England Patriots playbook. Now for all you guys who don't know what U-Trips is, in the game it's called Pets where off trips pets, but around the community and around the people who know about it, it's called U-Trips. Why is U-Trip such a good formation? Well, that's a question that I've kind of asked myself and I had a chance to interview Dcroft last year and he talked about the ability to pick up blitzes. When you look at the formation, you have the running back on the left side and the tight end on the right side. That means you're going to have pretty good pass protection. And also, the number 81 wide receiver on the screen right here, he's in the slot position, meaning that you get a weird setup with a slot receiver on the solo side that not a lot of, that not a lot of people are used to just plain and simple also when you look at all the different plays that it has it has some of the most plays of any formation in the game and all this in one playbook it's just a hazard to deal with now on the last video i did i got a comment by my friend andrew he's been commenting on the channel for quite a while and he said that he likes to combine this with the trip side information in the New England Patriots playbook. Now, if we go over to trip side end, has the same personnel: one tight end, one wide receiver, and uh, one tight end, one running back, and three wide receivers. And trip side end, for all you guys who don't know, it's one of the top two passing formations in the game this year. Uh, the Patriots trip side end is not the best, but it still has some of the best plays of the trip side end. It's just missing one simple play. And combining you trips and trip side end, it might be the best scheme in the game. Now, luckily for you guys, I already did. A trip side and breakdown earlier this year i'm gonna put it in a card up above and in the link in the description make sure to check that out to get the full doses of the trips offense in the patriots playbook but without further ado i now want to talk about a glitch that i'm using to get a running back in a tight end because i just like a faster running back or a faster play in a tight end and in regular teams there are not that many fast tight ends so what you do is you make sure you go to the fullback wing package you can do that by flicking the right stick right here so there you go fullback wing package and make sure in the depth chart you have a running back in at fullback number one that means that the running back is then going to be substituted in i showed that in the last video more in depth if you guys uh, don't understand what I'm saying just check that video out but I'm not gonna spend too much time breaking it down in this one okay the play we'll talk about in this video is gonna be Pat's Wild. Pat's Wild is one of those plays that's very flexible and it is one of the few plays that I actually like to attack cover two with now we'll just call Pat's Wild out and on defense we'll come out and just nickel normal and let's start out running cover three now I use hot dog master and ultimate team that is one thing that I recommend you guys do if you're playing regular teams, some of the setups won't work for you unless you're using uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, which are actually a decent team. But if you're a big user of the Green Bay Packers, some of these plays might not be for you. But I I'll make sure that I put some plays for you in here. I accidentally snapped the ball right here. I'll just check it out. My bad, you guys. So the first setup for this is going to be pretty simple. We want to put only around on the left on the corner we want to keep ronald jones on this kind of weird out route. we want to put leonard Fournette on the delay fade to have a read in case we don't get anything open initially we can then press x and he will just go out on his delay fade we will put goodwin on, the, on an out route we'll motion evans across put him on a slant just like that and then we'll snap the ball this is special nice against cover three because i can hit uh it to uh Mike Evans, I forgot his name, uh, on a low pass, and that can get open for me very easily. Also, I accidentally put uh, Jones on, on a flat route. Uh, the reason why I don't always like to put Ronald Jones on a flat route is if I'm not sure whether they're running man coverage or zone coverage, uh, Ronald Jones on his initial route, he will beat man coverage. So now, I've got this corner route on the left side I can, that I can sometimes throw against hard flash right there. I, I, I was not able to throw it. I just threw it anyway just to see what will happen. Uh, but now I want to show you this play against hard flats, which now this play really feasts. So you will see how the square is open. And if I wait long enough, circle on the right side will also get open. But the main uh, the main uh, headache for your opponent in this setup is going to be the delay fade to Leonard Fournette. So I'm going to run this setup right here. I will snap the ball. And okay, I see nothing is open. I will press X, get the tight end to run his delay fade, 
and throw it to him. That is one thing that your opponent might forget about when he's using the entire play. And it's a nice bailout. Moving on, now this is more of a simple setup. It is a setup that I like going to be because of sim because of its simplicity, I can't talk right now. And you will have a lot of reads, especially against cover three. So if you have hot route master, I would recommend you put Antonio Brown on a post route manually. It's just it's got a sharper cut, and I like that a little bit more. But you can also run this without putting him, him on a post route manually. So what you do is you want to put Fournette on a drag, Goodwin on a hitch, Mike Evans on a uh, smoke screen, and block the running back. Now if I snap the ball, you will see how I have multiple reads open. The big one, of course, is going to be the post across the middle. Make sure you're safe with that, though. You want to check it down to the drag, to the hitch, uh, so that your opponent is going to pay attention uh, to the drags, and, the po and then behind that, the post will get open. Be careful throwing that drag late. That was just in time a little bit later, and that's a pick six. So really, this formation is all about timing. Make sure you get your reads down. And now in this case, of course, I will hit it uh, to Antonio Brown. If my opponent were to not use, were to not use the uh, hit shot as he was right there, and were to go back to the post route, then we of course would throw it to the hitch right there. It's actually covered. I just wanted to show you guys uh, that that gets open in a nice window. If that zone was not there and was covering the post, of course. Now there's not too much more to this play. Uh, another variation of that is just to streak Evans that will uh, kind of make our one a little bit more open but you will also be able to now throw the post a little bit later so let's just say there are a couple of zones in uh, in the middle of the field but the sideline is open then if you put uh, Mike Evans on a streak you will have a lot more success like that I run that play one more time drag is open right there and if we wait a little bit longer then we can throw it to Antonio Brown along the sideline. A major reason why this play is so nice is because the post route from the slot wide receiver again. This is where that interesting position comes in because I can put him on that post route manually just like I did. But just in general, the post or the uh, Antonio Brown is in a good spot to get to a nice area on the field uh, just because he's post his position in the slot. Now I want to run this setup with double drags. This is a very simple setup again. It's all about being patient on this one. Take the drag if it's there. If I can throw it to uh, Leonard Fournette a little bit earlier and I can get five yards on the drag, take it. There are many setups in this ebook. If you want to get more setups just beyond the videos that I'll put on YouTube, make sure to go to my pay hip. There is going to be a cheat sheet over there which will give you many setups and they are very easy to read because they are very similar kind of ideas spacing wise but it's just from all kinds of different places and all kinds of different setups so you will get used to them pretty easily now let's keep going uh the reason why i like the double drag so much is because it forces our opponent uh, a lot of the time both of them are going to be open and it's going to force our opponent to choose which one he is going to use the reason why i have the streak on the r1 wide receiver is if i take some extra time and let's say both drags i kind of don't feel comfortable throwing drags then very late i can throw it to the post safely across the sideline with the street cake taking care of any deep zones and making sure i have a nice pocket to throw that ball into okay now i want to talk about a very interesting idea that this formation allows me or this play rather allows me to get so in practice mode you're always on first and ten so if you smart route about it should cut at the 10 yard line for, or 10 yards away from where the ball is spotted now if i smart route the circle route on the outside you'll see it gets cut really short and that kind of gives it a chance to get open in a very nice window now what do we do to accompany this there are many things that we can do i want to show you how this attacks cover two first i will put leonard Fournette on a delay fit i want to put ronald jones in this case on the flat route, I want to put Tony Brown on the corner route, and then I will drag Goodwin. I'm going to motion him across. And now you will see how the post gets open across the middle very nicely. So we'll just let the play develop a little bit lo longer. And now you will see. Ah, damn. Thorosek just got it off. This play really is about patience again because sometimes it's going to be the user that's just going to be roaming the middle of the field. And if you don't feel comfortable throwing the post, please do not force it. This post, it is incredible. 
as long as you don't force it that's the main thing you have to be careful of just take the drag and be happy really be happy take whatever you can get it will amount as the game moves on and eventually eventually opponent has gonna have to take this away from you so we're gonna run the same thing again and now we'll look on the left side and snap the ball triangle right there is open for some yards truck it maybe if you have a trucking bag and take the yards when you can it is important i can't stress this enough this offense it's it might not be the most explosive but it just gets yards consistently and that's what this offense is about the thing with the corner out on the left is that you really have to be sure they can throw it it's not it's, it's, it's sharper corner out doesn't that means that it's not gonna go down the field as much that means trouble if you want to force it there's a way of beating cover two with the corner out on the left though and that is to just motion across this post on the back side you can do whatever you want i like to go with the drag and the hitch i will snap the ball right here and again it make it's important you guys are careful with that corner out you have to drag wide open if you can let the play develop a little bit longer and you have enough time in the pocket then the zone that's covering the corner out as you saw right there the cover two flat zone it's gonna drop down just make sure you take the time and really wait until until you see it open if you feel like you're getting shredded just dump it off to the drag it's the simplest thing in the world but I want you guys to know that there, are, that there are ways to be covered too deep with this play. You just have to make sure to never force it. Because this offense is just... I want to say it's not about forcing. Not You can't force balls in any offense. But this one especially is so effective. You just If you just take every single drag that's there. And you're going to drive your opponents insane. Now in this last step with beat cover 2. We will take advantage of that player in the slot again i said it at the beginning of the video this is your money player you want to put antonio brown on a curl you want to put uh jones on a flat on a wheel rod and then you want to smart rod evans just for the fun of it now you're going to snap the ball and i want you to watch uh the wheel route you saw how that flat route really reacted intensely to the curl route that opened up a window for the wheel route to get open behind it this only works if the player is or if the curl route is in the slot position meaning that this is pretty exclusive to this formation in bunch you could do it by motioning in the outside of a receiver into the slot on the left but that takes time and this is just so I, I put two hot routes on the field and I will absolutely burn every single person running cover two on me now that being said there is a way to avoid this uh, if you have zone drops on. I sim I'm, uh, I'm simulating it uh, by putting uh, play sticks on the field. And now you see how we're not really gonna react that long to the to the car route, but now that the uh, that the zone is not gonna play as deep if it's at 10 yards or at five yards, we will now have a chance to throw that wheel route over top of the uh, the cloud flat. Because it's just going to stay at that 10 yard, 10 yard depth. So this play really is a headache against cover 2. It doesn't work against cover 3 sadly. So make sure you get your opponent to run cover 2 first. But if your opponent runs cover 2. You can absolutely burn them with this play. Now that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions of course. You can let me know in the comments below. Also make sure to check out my social media. Also in the description below. If you have any questions, you can just DM me on Twitter. You can DM me on Instagram. My DMs should be open. If not, just tweet at me and I'll uh, accept you as a friend. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope you guys learned something. As always, make sure to stay safe. Hope to see you in the next video. And until next time, goodbye, guys.